Hi guys, Andy here from Awesome 3D Prints, and we're back to normal this week. I actually have uh, a normal print that I've done on my printer, something that I've wanted to print, not something that I've had to print for the NHS. So it's nice to get back to some sort of sense of normality. The um, visors that I've been printing have sort of tapered off a lot now. Still doing the odd few here and there, but I think for the most part everybody's got what they need at the moment, so that's good news. Um, yeah, so today's print, I'm printing a uh, printing place object, which you know I love. If you've seen it in my previous videos, you know I absolutely love printing place stuff. This is a particularly tricky one, and I've tried before and failed, and tried before and failed. I must have tried probably three or four times and failed every time. So this time, I thought I'd try again. And if I fail, we'll go through some troubleshooting steps together and see if we can solve it. That way, if you guys have a similar problem, you guys can have a go in, uh, and, and try and work with my tips and see if, see if it helps you guys out. Anyway, I'll show you it printing and then we'll talk some more about it afterwards. Cheers guys. Well, there she is finished. I'm going to show you guys me peeling it off the bed uh, because quite often, if it works, you peel it off and they fall out straight away. And I didn't want you to miss that. So <laughs> if it doesn't work, then we'll soon find out. There we go. Well, it didn't work. <laughs> so we'll take over the bench and see if we can free it up any. Right then. So, well, it looks like it's printed really nicely, but. The layers here have definitely fused together, which is weird because when they were printing on the bed, they hadn't fused. So that's definitely, definitely not quite as I hoped it, as I hoped it would be. I've got a funny feeling this is not going to work very well, which is a shame, really, because I've been looking forward to printing one of these. But they definitely look fused. A few gaps in places. stamped on after it broke anyway yeah it, it was fused i couldn't i couldn't free it up so it, it i ended up getting the pliers and i tried to pull it out and it snapped so yeah that's that done um so the next step forward is to find out why why the first layer is fused at now it could be a number of things i'm going to try the simple option first um as far as i know the bed was level i did level it beforehand and it should have been fine so I'm looking more towards a Cura setting. So I'm going to go into Cura and change the uh, initial print temperature. So the first few layers are cooler. I'm going to turn the fan so it comes on a little bit sooner. So hopefully that will help as well. And also reduce the bed temperature. I don't think the bed, te bed temperature is causing a problem because that was only at 50C anyway. But I'll drop it down to 40. Um, this bed should be able to grip onto it long enough for 40 anyway. So we'll give that a try and see what happens. All right, catch you in a bit. Right then guys, I tweaked my Cura settings as I said I was going to. Uh, initial layer temperature, bed temperature, and made the fan kick in a bit sooner. Uh, and I printed a 20mm calibration cube, which you can get off of Thingiverse. It's a good way of telling if your dimensional accuracy is in place. As I said, it's supposed to be 20 by 20 by 20, 20 everywhere basically. And if you've got a set of digital calibers like I have here, you can print it off and then you just measure it. And ideally, it should be 20 millimeters. Like that. 
if it's not 20 millimeters then you either, either up or lower your steps whether it's your y steps x steps or z steps whatever it happens to be um, so my y in this case is spot on at 20 my x in this case is spot on Ooh, meh. all right maybe a little bit but nothing you know that that's well, well there you go 20 um, and then my Z is actually a little low now that won't affect this print because it's not the height I'm worried about it's the thickness but what that's telling me is that obviously it's not high enough now you gotta look at why it's not high enough and if you look at the bottom of this print I don't know if you can see it on camera but it bulges out at the bottom and that's called elephant's foot that's caused or can be caused by a number of things if your bed's too hot plastic melts because of the, the weight of the plastic as it builds up and it squishes it or your two your initial layers are too hot and they're all melting together and sticking and, and bulging out of the bottom, which we know it's not the problem because I've just layered my I lowered my initial layer height so we know it's not that so the other thing it can be and I think this is pretty much guaranteed in my case is the bed's not level I've got too much squish um, and it's causing it to bulge out at the bottom so I'm going to re-level the bed uh, and try and print again and we'll see what happens from there so fingers crossed Here's attempt number two. Let's see how well it comes off the bed. Hopefully, if we're lucky, we've solved the problem. Doesn't look promising. Let's have a look on the bench. Right then, hopefully you can see this. It's not fused on the bottom, which is good news. It means that I've definitely got one problem sorted out, which is it was too close to the bed. But they're not coming out easily either, so we need to try and pry them out and see if we can maybe free them up a little bit Let's read that bit as well. So, oh. so yes, it sort of worked. Not brilliant, and it needs a bit of freeing up, but it's out. And there's definite room for improvement. I mean, the, the print quality is nice, but evidently it shouldn't be quite that difficult to get this thing freed up. So. Um, I think leveling the bed again, making sure it's absolutely perfect, obviously I didn't do that. Um, that would have helped an awful lot. Um, but yeah, I mean look it works, I've got a sword, well, what can you say, I'm quite pleased with that. Well, I hope this video helped you guys, uh, if so you know what to do, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, or if it didn't, or you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down, drop me a comment as to what you did or didn't like, and if you want to see more, subscribe. Cheers guys, take care. And as you can see, I've had a go at painting it. Don't look too closely. It's a terrible job. As with all my paint jobs, they're awful. <laughs> but I think it looks better than just a plain blue. I might even put this on the wall. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, if you like my video, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, give me a thumbs down. If you want to see more, subscribe. And tick the bell icon so you get notified when they're about. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. Stay safe.